So one of the interesting things to note is that regardless of the industry you're in, there's always going to be luxury goods and there are always going to be budget goods. And the same is very true for cooking and very, very true for cookware. And pretty much one of the Rolls Royces or Ferraris of cookware is Le Creuset. They were started, I think, in like 1925 or so, like early, early 1900s. And they have essentially invented enameled cast iron cookware. There are lots of benefits to enameled cast iron cookware. All the benefits that you have with cast iron cookware, you have with enameled cast iron. It holds its heat very, very well. It resists losing the heat very well. So once you get it up to temperature, it stays there and it stays there in a very stable and consistent way. Uh, but the other benefits that you get are the fact that you don't need to worry about seasoning. You don't need to worry about uh, how you wash it. And at the same time, since it does have a glass coating all around it, you're able to cook reactive foods or acidic foods in it without worrying about the iron leaching off into the food and giving it a metallic taste. So let's open this up while I keep explaining. This right here is, by the way, the four and a half or five and a half quart uh, round Dutch oven by Le Creuset. It is in the Marseille color, which is one of my favorite colors they make. And before I get into it, you can see the enamel here. They use tan enamel on the insides of their Dutch ovens and other bakeware or cookware like that. And a lot of people think that this is actually raw cast iron. It's not, so don't worry. It's actually coated one whole time. The entire piece is coated one time in uh, essentially clear enamel, clear glass, almost as a primer. And they use tan enamel on the inside and they paint the outside whatever color you want. So you don't need to worry about rust or things like that with this because the entire thing is coated. And this, my favorite color, is Marseille. It's a beautiful, beautiful graded, uh, I guess ocean blue is what you would call it. This is the signature line, so I'm gonna make a different video explaining the difference between signature and uh, classic line. But suffice it to say, it has a handle on the top of the lid that withstands 500 degrees, and I think the classics are 375. And, oh, here's the little book. And it has these larger handles on the outside, so you can sort of grab it much easier. So this right here is the Marseille again. You can see the bigger handles. You can see the nicer handle on the top. It's a beautiful shade of essentially ocean blue. Lighter on the inside, lighter on the top, darker on the bottom, darker on the edges. And it's really just a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Dutch oven. Like I said, you can do things like stews, braises, things with tomatoes. Uh, you can fry in this very, very easily. And the cool thing about it is you can not only cook on the stove and sear things, add all your ingredients, throw it in the oven, and then it looks so nice that you can really just grab the entire thing, go to your table, and then just serve it. And I'll make a separate video, like always, uh, talking about the different color combinations and my thoughts exactly on which ones are the best. Uh, but essentially, you're going to want to have some contrast. So with a light color like this, you'd want to have dark foods on the inside. Or the darker color, I'd say you want to have maybe lighter fluids like uh, curries and things like that, orange, yellow, uh, what have you. And with a lighter color, like let's say flame, which is my second favorite color, uh, you're going to want to have darker things like stews and whatnot. So I'm going to put a link down below uh, to the five and a half quart round Dutch oven. And one of the things I'm going to do before I finish the video is one of my biggest problems ordering things online is you see five and a half quart, seven and a fourth. Uh, three and a half quart, two quarts, whatever. And it's really hard to quantify exactly what that means and it always ends up being stressful for me ordering things. So what I wanna do right now is, it's gonna be a little bit tacky, but I wanna give you a very, very standardized way of being able to tell how big the five and a half quart is. So I'm gonna move it to the side. And this right here is just a regular gallon jug of water that you would get from anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it straight in the center and you get about three fingers around the entire thing. And interestingly enough, it ends, the top of the Dutch oven ends right where this seam is gonna be. So right where the handle begins is where you're gonna have the uh, Dutch oven ending. That'll give you a pretty solid idea if you have a gallon container at your house of exactly how big this is. Just put three fingers on either side and imagine it ending right here at the seam. But otherwise, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Comments or concerns, let me know as always. And I will talk to you very soon.